pain of bucks is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. If this is your first time outside of my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support um, that you've been giving me. Um, being able to go on this journey, I know it has its up and ups and downs, but knowing that you have big, bigger blessings that is heading towards your way that you are aiming for is, is the things that we need to stay focused on. I don't know what I was going to say after that. But anyways, you know, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, I would love a chance for you, you know, to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos give good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation, validation toward their life path or soul purpose or divine purpose. Please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support um, that you've been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated knowing I can be a part of your journey and help assist that way. It's really, truly a blessing to me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Oh, you can't really hear it. This is a beautiful meditation. Um... I'm listening to a 528 hertz, let go of all mental blocks, music to manifest miracles, peaceful mind, attract your desires, and I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey Okas, be grateful for the toxic relationships because it has showed you exactly what you don't need. <laughs> there are so many times I, I mean just for a girl talk you know when you get around your friends and stuff like that and you know even through you know middle school high school you know or even your current life you have been you know you you have been through so many different relationships whether it's your boyfriend your wife I mean boyfriend your girlfriend your wife uh your side chick, your mistress, you know, your, your husband, all these daggone crazy things. And it could have really put you in a tra traumatizing experience. It really could. And it's just like, you know, I, I hear a lot of people, I even did it myself too, until I had to, like I said, step back without the emotions and really look at stuff. You know, um, being grateful for every, every experience you ever went through with people, whether if it was good or bad, it has always taught you something. It always has taught you something. You never should ever wish that you were, you know, sometimes it, you know, I even see posts like, oh, you know, um, I never wish that, you know, I didn't do good things. It's just I wasted my time on, on the wrong people. Or I did good things for the wrong people. No, it, it happened. Every Everything that was placed in your life, every decision you have made has brought you to this point right now. And whether or not that was a bad experience, a traumatic experience, or even a good experience, you know, there are a lot of times, and I've said this before, and you probably have said it yourself, you know, sometimes we have been putting light time expectation on some seasonal people. You know, we really do. So you should never wish that you never came across that person because that, that person has taught you a lot of things. It has showed you a lot of things, you, you know, so it can give you forewarning certain things that you went through in the past or you had to go through this certain situation for you to be able to heal in places you weren't be able to before and, or you've been in a situation where it had you step back and made you stronger than you never realized you have and it's just like you have to be blessed for those things and it's just like if somebody did you wrong tell them peace and bless you. You ain't got to wish nothing bad on them. I mean, I've been like that. I was like, ugh, you know, if they were on fire, I wouldn't even throw water on my bad ass up and then go on about my business. You know, do some little crazy stuff. I've said a little hateful stuff just because somebody put me in a, in a bad position. You know, you can be a good person. And people, you come into, come into your life and they mess everything up. It made you 
look at the world a lot different. It made you look at people a lot different. It made you sometimes put a wall up where you felt like, I mean, there's something wrong with me. Because there's times when you have been cheated on. You know, a certain situation will have you second-guessing your existence. It will have you say, well, what did I do? Did I do this to make them do this? Did I do that to make them do this? And there's a lot of times you have to really sit back and say, you know, if these people really loved you, they would not put you in a, in a position to ever make you question their trust, your love for them, their love for you, not respecting your feelings and, you know, the boundaries of y'all's relationship, not putting your feelings first like you put their feelings first, you know, they did you, you did them better than they did you. That, that makes you learn a lot of things, you know, and you should never sit up here and think things are your fault unless you know you weren't communicating with them, y'all weren't talking about the things that makes you feel uncomfortable, you know, when the issues came along, y'all just ignored each other or been mad, because you can't expect somebody to know why you're mad if you're not, you're like, okay, because you've been with them for 15 years or something like that, you assume that they know what's going on your mind they assume you know you assume that they know people are not mind readers even though we can you know second guess certain things that goes on in people's heads you have to be able to communicate you have to have that line of trust you have to have that line of respect you know but all the situations you have been to been through has made, helped you learn a lot of things and it's just like you know we weren't supposed to go through these certain situations for us to be able to be antisocial allow yourself to not want to be in a relationship because it's hard like i know there's a couple of my love bugs that been through some things and some really toxic situations that made them not liable i mean not able to be able to get into a relationship because they maybe think all women are the same all men are the same you know this person did this to me this person did that you know i had one of my high school friends that uh they're dating. I mean, they're, you can see that this, this person has just been there for them all different ways from what I can see. You know, I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but they went through such a traumatic situation with their marriage from their high school sweetheart. They don't know. They might be missing out on the, on the best husband they're going to have just because they still have those fears and issues that they're carrying on from that old relationship to a current one, I don't want to get married again. I'm like, why? You know, you look like you're really happy, and it's just, just because of that situation, their ex-husband or you know ex-wife or whatever. I don't want to be telling nobody business. Has really put them in a certain situation and made them like, you know what? If it don't work out, I can always leave. You know, but it's just like you're still carrying on that old vibe from the last one. You know, if you feel like you can't, you know, you can't go no further than this and they prove to you that they want to be able to, you know, have you carry their last name and they're going to respect you at all levels. I mean, why carry that? You know, you shouldn't shouldn't carry old excess baggage to a new one. You know, you're trying to cut somebody. You're trying to beat them down just because you, you want them to pay for the stuff that somebody else done put you through. You, that's not fair to them. You know, so it's just like, you know, don't ever put lifetime expectations on seasonal people. Even, that can even be friendships. Because, I mean, there's certain situations I've been in lately or, I, you know, I've happened to me since uh, I started doing my, you know, since I've been on my spiritual awakening has really opened my mind up to so many different experiences on seeing how people can act. I've had people support me, be there for me. And then, you know, all of a sudden, I got blocked. I don't, I don't know why. We weren't friends anymore. And I was just like, well, dang. Okay, you know, obviously, it wasn't meant to be. Or I've been going out my way, you know. Like I tell people, uh, when I go on one-on-one -on -one with you, you know, if there's certain situations you're going through and you're trying to find your life purpose, you you know your empath, but you're trying to find out all the things that you are or what your purpose is in your life for you to have been, had to go through that spiritual awakening. I've helped people, you know, if it's not my videos, I'll send them some videos that has helped me or I send them some links that has helped me and then come to find out, you know, they're taking up all my energy just for them to be able to take all my stuff and just, you know, block me on everything I'm trying to do because they're intimidated by my strength. You know, hey, you know, that made me not want to get close to people because it's like, oh, Rosie, want to be friends? I'm like, Ugh. I don't know. Last couple of people either, you know, they either felt insecure about certain situations or they were either jealous about certain situations. 
happens or they were just being straight hateful and wanted to block me from all my things just because I went through something so traumatic. People couldn't even con put that concept in their mind how I'm still able to joke around, how I'm still able to find different things that I need to go through. You know, you never know when you have strength and strength alone and that's all you got to live by. I mean, you can't get mad at a person like that because I mean, I had to be in survivor mode this whole time. I've been used and abused. You know, I've been in toxic relationships back and forth, whether it was a male or a female or even female friends. You know, they put me in certain situations. It's like, you know, thinking they were friends, but all of a sudden, since they found out who I was related to, I mean, they don't even give me a time of day. <laughs> they don't even give me a time of day. And I had to just cut my, I have to cut ties with a lot of people. Didn't even warn them. Just cut ties. You know, but I, I never second guessed my friendship because I know I did everything I was supposed to do in that situation. So I don't blame myself. You know, like, hey, you just lost out on a friend and it's just, you know, I'm, a, I'm all right with it because I'm going to still keep on doing me. You know, I'm gonna still keep on, you know, pushing it because I'm aiming towards something and you have to do the same thing. You know, allow the situations that have you been been able to connect with people on so many different levels. It's like you're you're keeping a diary of everything that you have experienced with these people and it's not supposed to have you cut off people, you know, period. It's not to keep you in that bitter mind state or that bitter vibe, that low frequency vibe. These are the things we had to go through to teach us in so many different ways to keep strength keep focus on things you need to get push out love rather than hate don't close yourself off from the world just because one bitter experience made you a better person you still keep smiling because you know you have good character you know you're that good person not everybody's perfect hurt people hurt people you know they they you know when people struggle to like themselves they can't love you if they don't like themselves you know they can't <laughs> there's no way you know people try you know, and it's a sad situation, you will put more love into another person and then allow yourself to be stomped on in all kinds of ways. And I've done that where I put so much love in somebody else and went, I needed that love for myself. I blame myself for the reason why they treated me like that. I, you, you can't, you can't, what's that word? You, you only can allow what you accept. You only can accept what you allow. All those different things. If you know you need to demand respect, that's why I put boundaries up for people. I tell people, I'll do one-on-ones with you. I'll do FaceTime. I'll do, you know, emails and stuff like that. But I'm doing it at a certain time. I tell people, 9.30 a.m., 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't text me before that and don't text me after that. And if it's becoming a habit... I will block you. You have to put boundaries up. You know, and it's not about me being an itch mode. You gonna hit the bitch switch. No, it's not about that. You have to have boundaries and respect. People don't respect you and they don't you don't put boundaries up. People will walk all over you. And they'll take advantage of that. And then when you start seeing it, it's like, hey, I ain't trying to be rude, but hey, I got my own time too. You know, I'm I love being able to help people. This is what I do. But there are certain times I gotta take off for me, my children. Or I have some business I got to take care of. So it's all these different things. These situations that you have been placed in with different friendships, different relationships, it allows you to have power over yourself, power over your heart. Not putting, a, you know, a cage over it like an icebox, you know, and be bitter towards the world and, you know, cut yourself off because everybody deserves love. Everybody deserves friends. But you have to see who's worth that. Who's worth, you know, because people are, you know, if they you're going to have where it's not going to be perfect and there are going to be times they might accidentally hurt you by certain situations but you got to see which one is worth that pain you know which ones you just got to throw to the curb and keep it moving so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video like and subscribe even hit that notification bell drop me a line i'd love to get your you know feedback on this situation and i will go ahead and give a post notification out to gabriel Lost Puppy. Lost Puppy. I'm going to do that song for you. I'm just still trying to get it ready. Every time I get ready to sing it, it messes up on me. So I haven't got a chance to really get into it like I wanted to. And Bonnie Jo Smith. Much love to you. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. Uh, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a next shout out on my next video. And I hope y'all have a blessed week. I hope you, you know, you're highly... Uh, y'all always love, totally blessed, and, you know, highly favored and all those things. And... 
Sounds much love and light and positivity to possibly can. I'll see you in my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.